Hello all. Today we will learn about the timing diagram of 8085. If you learn in the correct way, this is the one of the most easiest topic uh, to solve. So at first uh, we will learn about the timing diagram of the machine cycle. When you know about the timing diagram of machine cycle, then you can draw the timing diagram of any instruction asked. So at first let's learn about the machine cycle. There are five machine cycle uh, in it in any instruction. There is first is of code fetch memory read memory write io read io write these are the machine cycles So these are the machine cycles. Uh, so if you know how to uh, draw timing diagram for awkward phase, memory read and these all, then you can draw timing diagram for any instruction. So in today's video, we we'll learn how to draw timing diagram for this awkward phase. Awkward phase is the first machine cycle of any instruction. It consists of 40 state. Some some of the instruction like call consists of 60 state. But uh, for now, we we'll learn about this 40 state. We'll cover this 60 state in future videos. So, awkward phase consists of 40 state, and um, it is a first machine cycle of any instruction. In uh, suppose you are given m b i b comma m b i a comma 25 h. In this instruction, this part is the output m b i a and 25 is operand we'll talk that about later so this output is uh, this output is present in the memory location suppose here is opcode now you have to bring this opcode uh, so that machine cycle is called opcode phase in opcode phase there is 4t state in first 3t state uh, you will phase the opcode and in fourth state you will decode it because opcode for opcode we have to decode it that's the difference between other memory read and opcode phase uh, we'll talk about later that let's leave it for now so we'll learn how to draw opcode phase for um, we'll learn timing diagram for opcode phase at first uh, before going into timing diagram let's learn about the address bus of 8085 8085 consists of uh, 16 bit address bus there is a15 to a0 it is divided into a15 to a8 and a7 to a0 now it consists of uh, uh, data bus that is sorry d7 to d0 now this address bus carries higher order memory address and this address bus carries lower order memory address and this carries data now these two address and data bus are multiplex together multiplex together to give uh, multiplexed to multiplex bus that is ad7 ad0 so this bus will carry data also address data and also address that is we should not that is there is no any necessary to send uh, data and address at the same time that is we can send address first and later on we can send data so for this reason we can use uh, this this bus as data bus and address bus in a multiplex way but this bus will always carry address so that's the background now let's go into the joint timing diagram so awkward phase consists of four t state this is t1 t2 t3 t4 and the first First signal is clock signal. As we know, eight zero eight five work on three megahertz fifty percent duty cycle. So the clock signal should look like fifty percent. That is half the half portion should be lower and half portion should be upper. But it is not necessary to make it accurate. You can just um, draw it. This is the first signal clock. Now, second signal is a fifteen eight. This is this part. So this always carries higher order memory address 
for that let's draw i have said for in 3t state uh, it will face the upward and for t state it will decode it so we have to fits So we have to face the upward for four, first four T state, first four three T state, and in this part uh, decoding will perform. So we have to leave it for leave it in that. So this part now will bring higher order memory address. Yeah, so yeah, me it stands for higher order memory address. And in this place decoding works. So uh, there is no necessary of the uh, this uh, data bus address. Sorry, address bus. So it consists of garbage value. So you can. Well, On issues file, so it consists of on issues file value that is garbage value. Now the second part is AD7, AD0, to AD0. This part, the, it is the multiplexed bus, so it carries the address as well as data. Before going to this part, let us move to this part ALE. ALE, ALE stand for AD address let enable so the work of the ALE is to uh, less the address latching means storing it uh, latching means storing the address now as we know this uh, bus will carry both data and address so at first we'll send lower order memory address in this bus and and when the when this bus is carrying lower order memory address, we'll enable this latch. So the latch will also gain this address and it will store the address for future use. So at first let's send lower order address. Yellow M A. Lower order memory address. So when when this bus is uh, when this bus is carrying a lower order address, we should enable this latch. That is making this one now. So the latch is enabled, and this bus is carrying a lower order address. So the this address will be last, and uh, so th this address will be last and uh, stored by this latch. And now we can use this uh, add this this bus as the data bus. Now we have obtained both a higher order address and lower order address. Now, after obtaining the boot address, uh, suppose this is the memory block. Now, after obtaining the both higher and lower order address, we have our microprocessor should point to the memory location uh, to read the upcode up because our upcode is present in some memory location. So, it will take some time to point to that memory location. That time is called propagation delay. We have to show this in this part. Now, when now when the propagation delay is completed, that is when the memory is pointed, it will work as data bus. Now, in this part, it will read upward. At this part, this address, this bus is carrying address, and after the memory is pointed, now it will carry. Now it will act as a data bus and carry upward. From that pointed memory location, that is somewhere this, somewhere this place. Now after the, now we have to dis, now we have to make this uh, latch low because uh, already it is carrying address. Now, although this latch is disabled, it will keep on passing the, passing this address, lower order address. So we can make this latch low. Now in every every machine cycle. In first T state, this latch is make this latch is enabled, and other T state, this latch is disabled. So this is for all all case. Now here decoding occurs. This was for these three parts. <coughs> now this now let's come to this lower part. Our opcode is present in the memory. 
our opcode is present in the memory location so for this io slash m bar signal since our opcode is present in the memory so our operation will be memory operation and the memory is m bar m is active low signal so we should make this uh, low so to indicate it as memory memory operation so we'll make low throughout this volt state now let's leave s1 and s0 for now now we'll move to this since we are reading so there is no work of uh, this right signal so to make it disable we have to make it high because it is active low signal that it that's not for right signal now <coughs> we have uh, for this s1 and s0 you can you can refer to this uh, table 0001011 right read of code now when we are performing of code phase the s1 and s0 should be 1 1 and during read 10 zero, write zero 01 and when the microprocessor is idle then it will be zero zero now we are performing off code phase so both this will be one one so make this high this high now we are at the end this is the main part uh, where a student gets confused so look at this part carefully as i have already said there there is propagation delay um, and at this point the memory is pointed that is uh, in this point memory is pointed that is our opcode is located now we have to perform read action that is rd bar we have to use rd bar this rd bar is uh, active low signal so when this when this uh, this signal is low it is uh, it is uh, saying to read when this signal is low, it is asking to asking for data. That is, it is uh, it is requesting for data. So if we if we make this signal low in this part, suppose if we make this low in this part, what happens? Let's see. If we make low at this part, then it will ask uh, it will request for the data. But as I have already said, our our memory is located at this part. Be before this. Uh, our memory is not pointed so if it asks for the data in this part then a garbage value will come i think you understood so we have to make uh, this uh, read bar active low when the data is pointed that is somewhere between here so for that at first we have to make it active i active i means we are not asking for data now when we make this active low we are ask asking for data now since the by making this active low we are um, now as uh, this memory is located we are asking for data so you can show this like this now we are ask, asking for data when should we when should we stop asking for data the in this part decoding is uh, decoding is happening so we should stop it somewhere here because there is no point asking for data in this part so we can stop here so this must for the awkward phase i hope you understood let's uh, revise this part again at first this part is made active i because our memory is not pointed before this part so we should not ask for data in this part now as uh, our memory is pointed so we can ask for data that um, ask for ask for data or request data by making this signal low so in this part it is asking for signal now we can disable it because we we do not require data during decoding part so in this part uh, we can make it active by so that's not for of code phase in next video i will teach about the memory read and you know for the video memory write io read and io write if you understand the timing diagram for each machine cycle you can draw easily for the each instruction so that's not for today if you think this video was helpful then please don't forget to like and comment 
if you have any confusion i will make the further video soon soon so till then subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon so you will be notified when i upload new video thank you keep learning goodbye